This is true indeed. Um, we are Skyx. My name is Elon. Thank you very much for your time and being here. Push a button and send drones to spray your farmland. This is our thing. This is it. And without marketing, with value proposition, this is cost, accuracy, availability, and safety that we need in our industry. Our starting point will be agriculture spraying is being done today. Let me be politically correct and say that this is, in our eyes, problematic. But we have also problems here when it comes to access after heavy rain, mountain curves, finding, hiring, training this spraying driver. And the last option for spraying today is not something I will wish for my children to work in a few years from now. Enough with the problems. Let me share with you agriculture spraying as it should be done and as we believe will be done as default in the near future. The starting point will be something like this. You saw those things many times before, crop scouting, aerial imagery. It's really nice when it comes to grower and spraying. In many cases, it means, well, very nice, but there is not so much I can do about it. So SkyX is actionable, and we target those hotspots, as we call them, in the farmland for spraying. And this is variable rate spraying application, or precision ag, if you want to call it this way, because we know to apply the exact amount of pesticide on each and every one of those hotspots in the farmland, including zero in many cases, and the value is clear, in the green parts of the farmland. And how this is being done with what we call a modular swarm of autonomous drones working, traveling, spraying this farmland together. We call our solution PASS, Precision Agri Spraying Swarm. And I mentioned drones a few times. It doesn't mean that we need to physically build the best or even build drones. We don't. It also doesn't mean that we need to fly those drones in the farmland. Again, we don't. But those are the 55 pounds drones that are available today. Let's keep in mind that um, the upcoming drones will have a much heavier payload, which means that they will be able to replace tractors and work at any scale. It's not just a vision. This is from another business partner we have, and our technology software will fly these things a few weeks from now. Quick sense about the market. My starting point will be about intuition, that in many cases is not so true about all farmlands are huge, what can be done. With the available solutions we already have, huge impact can be done for huge market. And we know to segment. So for example, in the US, we know to say per state, and we know to say per targeted crop, who will be the initial aerial applicators that will start to implement those type of solution. And generally speaking about agriculture spraying as an industry or a market, just to get a sense, this is area being harvested for potatoes in few countries. Think again about the US just as an example to get a sense about the numbers. Not including the chemicals, the pesticide. 20 US dollars per hectare will need to be applied on average every five days. It's giving some sense about the number and the intensity of this market. A little more than two years of product de development in 30 seconds. Well, we started by realizing that we will need to develop our own unique proprietary algorithms for space coverage. And we included obstacles, and then the software infrastructure, the grid became smart to support an unlimited number of autonomous robots, modular swarm. And we put this on a software application at the beginning to do what we call uniform coverage. So we can spray with swarm just like an airplane or a tractor. But the beauty is also to cover, as mentioned, those hotspots with unlimited number, size, and shape of hotspots in the farmland. We raised some funding from Agriculture VC called Rimoni when we did what we call proof of concept, showing how software, from the one hand, can physically fly in farmland different types of drones together. Like everybody else, I assume, one of the reasons we are here is that we are um, raising again. Um, putting this all together, it's um, not about, Skyx is not about selling information, it's about turning information into action. In terms of the business model, we have about um, 10 different use cases today showing perfectly our um, value proposition for growers. Not so much time to show videos and go on this. But put this all together, I will just highlight in terms of the business model that um, it's not about developing a gadget, an iRobot for the grower. It's about packaging a complete unmanned spraying solution to applicators that will use this as a service for growers. About the team, last slide, we are hiring. Another reason, good reason for us to be here is there is anyone here who thinks it's relevant, please be in touch with me. I can say about the team one thing that is demonstrating the uniqueness, the beauty, the commitment. We have engineering PhD guys that are having 
licensed drone piloting and certified agriculture sprayers. How many PhD guys in engineering you know that are doing this? And then just before lunch and, and take this break, we know we should probably eat more vegetable salad, including now in this lunch. It's good for our health, probably also good for our business. This is what we're here. Thank you very much. Great pitch, and thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, can you just uh, distill your competitive advantage? Uh, I mean, this is a software solution, so how do you tackle that? Well, it's not only a software solution. We look at this holistically as a complete solution. The, one of the core technologies that we have is with Swarm. Now, there is a Swarm technology for uh, military purposes, for entertainment purposes, for package delivery by Amazon. We are specializing the swarming technology that we have, not only for drones that need to fly extremely low and bypass all kinds of obstacles in the farmland, but the space coverage is unique for those spraying drones. Another thing that we call it modular swarm, each and every one of those drones in the swarm can have a different payload, performance, capacity, flight time, so we can optimize this swarm of spraying drones per farmland and per fleet. This is quite unique, I, I would say. Thank you. All right.